Some people may ask me, why are you so motivated to serve God? And it is really simple, really. I don't want to go to hell. That have to be the top three reasons or the top three of why I serve God because I don't want to go to hell. Now, you may say, you know, Kevin, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, try this. Actually, don't try it, but hear me out. How long can you keep your hand over the stove with the fire on? How long? You have your hand and you are placing it on the stove with the fire on. How long can you do it? If you are saying, I would say 10 seconds, but a sane person cannot hold their hand on the stove for 10 seconds. <laughs> no way. Perhaps two seconds now imagine a place where your whole body no imagine a place that is much hotter than your stove and your whole body is in it how long can you place your whole your whole body on the stove for not even two seconds but imagine a place hotter than your stove and you are in there longer than 10 seconds can you even imagine that let me tell you this supernatural experience that I had. I believe this was back in 2007, I believe. I was much younger then. But anyways, at that time period, I was a big liar. I was really rude. I was really mean, selfish so many bad things I would use people <laughs> pretty much not everything you know not everything but so many bad things so this one night I went to sleep and you know I thought that everything is okay you know just like any other night Anyways, I went to sleep and I can't say that I was in a room for some reason. I, I want to say room, but I was not in a room. I was in this area and I want to say that this area was dark, but I can't say that it was dark. The reason why I can't say that it was dark because I saw flames everywhere. Like from the top, from the bottom, from the side, from this side, everywhere. It would not have mattered if you were 30 feet tall because, dude, <laughs> Where can you go? As far left as you can see, as far right as you can see, as far forward and backward as you can see, all I could see was flames everywhere. Everywhere. Like, where could you go? And I thank God that I was not allowed to feel the pain, but 
I was allowed to feel the fear. Listen, man. What if you was allowed to feel the fear, the pain, and everything else? That would drive you crazy. But anyways, I could not feel any pain. But... I could feel the fear, the terror. All I could do was yell, like, ah! like to the top of my lungs the whole time. All I was doing was screaming the whole time because I knew where I was at. I knew that I was in hell. I knew it. And I could not say, hey, you know, I am this good person, you know, I do good things. No, I knew that I was there because of my sins. And I knew what my sins were. So I was not confused or asking God why I was there. No, I was screaming and I did not feel any pain only fear. So imagine if you felt the fear. I mean, if you felt the pain. Seeing fire everywhere, like your brain can't comprehend that. Seriously. Like you are looking, well, you are not really looking because you are in that fear, but all of that fire everywhere. Like, I know I am trying to tell you, but like to even think about it, it does not make any sense to be in an area where there are flames everywhere, like very long, like supernatural flames, not this little, little fire flames this tall and stuff. No. Some long old flames, really long flames. No matter how tall you are, you was going to be burnt. And all I could do was scream. Like I could not really think because I was freaked out. But at the same time, I knew why I was there and I could not say that or I knew why I was there and I could not say that I did not belong there. Hey Kevin, why are you motivated to serve God? Well, hey, <laughs> Kev does not want to go to hell because that was only just perhaps one little part of hell. No telling the other parts of hell. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be there. And I am sure that you don't want to be there either. I know some people say that, hey, Kevin, you know, I don't care if I go to hell because blah, 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 you know, let me just do me or whatever else. You are talking crazy. If you saw what I saw, you would not say that. There is no partying in hell. There is no, like, you think that you are going to meet your friends and your family and your buddies and so on and so on. No, you are going to be screaming at the top of your lungs. Like, for instance, I don't want to be too loud, but I was like, ah! you know like really loud you know I could get louder but you know <laughs> I don't want to get too loud but I was like ah you know ah. I forgot what pitch I was at but I was screaming really loud really really loud that's all I could do that's it
this is one of, I guess I can say the top three of why I serve God. Even if God did not give you anything, let's say that God is like, hey, if you serve me, I won't take you to hell, but you are not going to get anything else. If that is the case, that is good enough. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I am really, really serious. Like, when I woke up from it, that supernatural experience, man, my heart was like, beating so fast like I could not calm down I could not and I believe God sent a person to my room and this guy said hey do you want to talk or something because I can't sleep and I was like yes <laughs> I do want to talk <laughs> and we walked around outside and talked for about Man, one hour or two hours, and I calmed down some, but when I went back to my room, like, it was so hard for me to sleep again. I don't think I went back to sleep. I don't know. But for a whole month, I was frightened to go to sleep. Like, it really took so much for me to sleep. I'm serious now. I am really serious. Yes. I did not get my life straight, but that was really a wake-up call like, hey, what you are doing, <laughs> it is going to send you to hell. And I am not down. I don't want to go to hell. I am not down to go to hell. No. Not me. No. So really take heed to this video, please. And no telling, like I said, I believe that is or that was one part of hell. And I did not really experience much in that part. Imagine going to other parts, man, some crazy stuff. Take heed to this. God bless.